Hello everybody, welcome back to another Farming Simulator 22 map for suppressions video. Today we're going to take a look at The Ranch, Colorado. But before that, this video is brought to you by Farm Inc. and Backbone. Thank you for being Farm Barons. So The Ranch, Colorado map can be found over at the FarmingSimulator.com website or the in-game downloadable content menu. And as of the 1.0 release, this map is available for PC players only. Now, I believe the reason this map is available for PC players only is because it is making use of the Grazing Animals mod from Realismus Modding. Let me read you some of the description. Welcome to Colorado. This map is for Farming Simulator 22 and takes you to the heart of the USA where vast landscapes and majestic mountains of Colorado await. This map is perfect for players who want to specialize in cattle farming or large pastures. This map includes one ranch with a house, appropriate shelters and buildings, as well as a chicken coop and a cow barn with a large pasture. In addition, there are three other large cattle pastures on the map and two four horses. This map includes 96 fields from size 0.3 hectares up to 7.9, six meadows and five forest areas. There are two large construction areas that allow you to place on the map anything that you should so wish, a BGA, and water can be drawn directly from the river. The map author states that there are 16 hard-to-find collectibles, and he says that cow feeding has been optimized for an experience with grazing animals. Now, this map does have some required mods. Metal Fence with Gates, Honeybee Airflex Series, Horse Ranch, TLX 1982 Special, Easy Steel Sheds Set, and the FarmCon 24 Fent Pack. And of course, if you wanted to add the Grazing Animals mod, you could do that as well. Now, in addition to those mods that we just listed, we are going to be using the mods we typically use when we look at maps. They are additional field info, additional game settings, animal food overview, field lease, field calculator, precision farming, and straw harvest. Now, I do want to tell you that if you load this map up in farm manager mode or start from scratch, you're going to find that the farms are built out exactly how you see them here in new farm mode with one exception. The only starting vehicle you have in those alternate game modes is going to be your pickup truck. All the other vehicles are not on this map in those alternate game modes. In addition, if you happen to have a low end system and you want to are interested in playing this map, well, I can tell you that this map runs very, very good on a low end test system that I have that has making use of AMD integrated graphics. Now, when you load in for the very first time, you do start here at the main starting farm. Let's go ahead and take a look at that on the PDA. So here we have the main starting farm, farmland ID 34. In any alternate game mode, you can buy this land for $282,600. In addition to that starting farm, we start out with farmland ID 36, 35, 75, which has a horse pasture and another cow pasture, 83. 70, 65, which is yet another cow pasture, 31, 12, and 4. The biogas plant is located here at Farmland ID 20. And then we have another buildable site here at Farmland ID 21. Farmland ID 64 is going to be another large cow pasture. There is a horse pasture here at Farmland ID 89 as well. So again, the animal areas are going to be here at 34, 75, 89, 64, and 65. Let's go ahead and take a look. This map, sorry, does include all the standard crops available to us in FS22 as well. Now let's go ahead and take a look at our farmland lease screen. This is going to show us all of the viable farmlands, how large those farmlands are, if those farmlands include any fields, what fields are included? Then lastly, how much is that farmland going to cost us? Let's go ahead and take a look at our field calculator screen. This is now going to show us the specific sizes of each particular field. And once we take a look at that, let's go ahead and take a look at our soil map. This map is making use of the U.S. soil map, 
that is included with the Precision Farming mod. Right here, central to the map, we have a bit of loamy sand and sandy loam, but a big swath of silty clay here to the north of the main starting farm, and then another vein of silty clay to the south of the main starting farm. But overall, we've got a pretty good mix of all the various soil types on this map. We are making use of the generic crop counter that is available to us in FS22 on this map. And if we take a look down through our prices screen, you will see that we do indeed have the ability to sell all of our base game crops, as well as our animal outputs in eggs, wool, and milk, and our silage, hay, straw, and grass. As we continue down through all of our base game production items, we once again do indeed have the ability to sell all of those items as well. With respect to lime, we do have the ability to buy bulk lime, and we also have the ability of selling stones at the debris crusher. With respect to our farm production pack, Nope, we do not have the ability to sell any of the farm production pack washed root crops. So you will need to put down your own sell point if those are going to interest you. With respect to our platinum expansion, we do not have the ability to sell any of the platinum expansion production items. But we do have the ability to sell our premium expansion production items as well as our premium expansion crops. With respect to pumps and hoses, we do have the ability of getting rid of our separated manure. And then lastly, with straw harvest, we also have the ability of getting rid of our hay and straw pellets. Got a pretty decent listing of starting equipment. Now note, some of it is fairly old. And while most of it is very well maintained, our pickup truck is going to be the most worn down and the most used item in our fleet. We do start out with one horse. Wild Jack. This map does have contracts available. We do not own any of the production chains at the start. And we have 16, according to the map author, difficult to find collectibles. Now let's go ahead and take a look at our starting fleet. Start with some very interesting starting machinery. We have the Fent Zylon 524 tractor. That's part of the FarmCon Fent pack. We have our McCormick Hex 7 624 VT Drive, John Deere 4755 and 7810 medium tractors. We have our John Deere T560 Harvester that is paired up then with the Airflex 225 Honeybee Rain Header. We have our PLX 1982 4.3 liter diesel pickup truck as well as our John Deere Gator. We have a pair of Rudolph trailers, the TDK 301 RP and the DK 280 RL. We have the Echomat Plow, the Samgard 9500K Cultivator. We have the HR 4040 Power Hero, and it is typically paired up then with the Venta 4030 Cedar. We have the Optima RS Planter. We have the PFW 18,000 Maxi Line Plus Slurry Applicator. We have the Pollinger Novacat A210, no, A10 Crossflow Butterfly Mowers, and the Novacat 301 AMED Pro Front Mower. We have the Fanex 904 Tether, and the Crone Swadro TS 970 Windrower. We have the Massey Ferguson RB4160 V ProTech Round Baler and Wrapper Combination the Anderson Pro Chop 150 straw blower, and the Lizard MKS-8 liquid tanker. We have a Fliegel Noah TTW-140 animal trailer, and then we have the Belvedere horse trailer. We have the Q7M front loader arms, as well as the Xylon front loader arms. For the front loaders, we have a fork with grapple, and then a pair of bale spikes. We have the Honeybee Airflex header trailer combination as well as a 2,300 kilogram front weight and an 1,800 kilogram front weight. With respect to mods and DLCs, well, this map does not have any, but we do have, again, the FarmCon Fin Pack, the Honeybee Airflex series, and the 1982 TLX Special. Now, as far as our starting farm goes, we, here we have our farmhouse. And within the farmhouse, we 
we're gonna find our sleep trigger it is located somewhere in a bedroom right there then we have a wardrobe over here in the bathroom got our gator our chicken coop so we have our egg spawn point we have our chicken buy point for a total of 760 chickens and then we have our food drop off we have a weather station here some custom easy sheds We have our large cow barn. So we have our milk trigger. Inside here, we're gonna have our animal buy point. 200 total cows available inside of here. And of course we have our food and straw trough inside. So we had our slurry tanker, a nice bale shed. We have our slurry point there. Now let me talk about what can and can't be sold on this farm. And in fact, pretty much at all of the other animal areas as well. You're looking at it. But it's a collectible. Cheeky, isn't it? So everything on this farm can be sold. Everything, deco objects, all the buildings, and uh, well, the jack, that's what's left over. But ching ching, that's your freebie. 15 more collectibles to find. We've got your base game farm silo, you dump in fill point. And that, folks, well, that's pretty much the starting farm. Here you've got your TLX truck. You could use a good little cleaning. So now I've moved over to our horse pasture. Then we have another cow area over here. So our main starting farm is located right there. And now we moved our way over here south of field 78 and north of field 75. So we're going to come down here to our right. We have our cows. So we have our delivery point for our food. We have our milk point here. Way over here on the other side of the pasture, we have our cow point. 275 cows. And there you go. Then we have our horse pasture located right here. So our one starting horse. We have our food trough inside. Then we have our horse delivery point where a total of 16 horses can be bought and put inside of here. We also then have bale storage for 1,000 total bales or pallets. And we have our horse trailer over here as well. Now we've moved south to farmland ID 65. That is where we're gonna find the next cow pasture that we have. And we're gonna go ahead and buy farmland ID 64 as well, because again, that also has a cow pasture. This is where we're gonna find our Cool Fent Xylon tractor, our Xylon front loader arms. So we have our milk trigger for our cows. We have our food trough. And then our delivery point, 350 cows are gonna be available here.
and then up the hill we have the other cow pasture once you purchase the land of course the triggers will pop and when they do pop you'll see that we have our milk trigger we have our delivery point for 400 cows here we have our food and straw trigger then we have a manure heap Now let's jump up here to farmland ID 89. That's where we're going to find the other horse pasture. And it already has horses in it. So once you purchase this, well, you'll have 16 wild Mustangs. And you'll have your food trough available there. And then up here at the Wild Mustang Ranch, we also have a cell point. And that cell point is going to be located here. And it's going to be the Shop Mustang Park. And that is basically going to be all of the animal areas that are going to be available here on this map. Now let's jump back over here to our starting farm. We get a little bit of altitude so we can kind of take a little bit of a look around. We have our BGA and our open building zones over here to the northwest. That's where all of the triggers are going to basically be located at this point. And then we have the Wild Mustang Ranch and the one cell point off in the northeast. And then at that point, the rest is just arable farmland and horse or cow pastures. So let's make our way over here. We're going to avoid the town area for now. I just want to kind of have you see the fields. See the small forested area here. And then we'll talk about how we're going to be scoring this map. We are going to give the map a full point with respect to production being built in or areas set aside for such because we have both. We have a bakery, a grain mill, and a BGA built into the map. And then we have two fairly large areas that once we buy the farmland, well, we could go ahead and place additional productions down should we so wish. With respect to the ability to sell all of our basin crops, animal outputs, and productions. Yep, we do indeed have the ability to do that as we've already demonstrated in the video. So we're gonna be giving the map a full point there as well. Now with respect to how does the land ebb and flow, overall it's got fairly subtle rolling hills, nothing too great, nothing too extreme. So I'd say you shouldn't have too many issues with respect to using machinery that may be a little bit underpowered for the implement. Here we have the cow pasture and then another cow pasture that we took a look at earlier buildings where probably are using the new texturing technique so we're going to go ahead and give the map a full point there as well here we have the horse and cow pasture then our main starting farm is right over there Can the farms be customizable? Yes, indeed they can. We can sell everything on all of the farmlands, including the main starting farm, the horse and cow area where we were just at, as well as the two cow pastures. Here we have the Mustang Ranch and the Mustang Ranch cell point. And then over here to the northwest, well, this is where we're gonna find everything else. We have our animal dealer. So we have our bale cell point for our animal dealer located right there. We have our animal dealer 
supply trigger located here to buy additional animals or transport them. We have a farmer's market sell point for crops and pallets. We have a fuel point. We also have a electric charging station. Looping around the town streets. We're going to find our bakery located right here. Just a standard FS-22 bakery. So we have our interactive point. We have our dump point and pallet point. Located right there. And I'm just kind of curious. There you go. You just got a freebie. So that was like a uh, portable heater. We have our grocery store located right here. And then we have our vehicle shop, Clever Motors. Inside we have our workshop, or should I say our dealer trigger. Right there. Then around front we have our dealer buy trigger. And let's go ahead and get a Mahindra, just see where things spawn. Right here, right out front. So not a bad area for vehicles to spawn. And we've got a pretty good area for our fence, for our vehicles to get out there between the fence. Right across the street from the dealer is going to be our biogas plant. Now, if you own the biogas plant, oddly enough, you can't sell it. Well, you do get money for it, but it doesn't actually go away. So you're not going to be able to remove this and then make use of this land however you want. But you will be able to build on the area behind the biogas plant. So this is a pretty big area that you could build in. And then this plot right here is also viable. It is plot farmland ID 21. And then you have a massive area here for productions or whatever you really want to do with. Right across the street from that. Well, we're going to have a buy point. This buy point is going to be for farmers cooperative. Let's, let's jump in our Mahindra and see. Can we buy things with this? Is it going to be seed, fertilizer, and lime? Or is it just going to be lime? We also have then our grain mill, so we're at dump point, interactive point, and pallet spawn point. And we have a grain cell point right here. We have our stone crusher. So seed, lime, solid fertilizer can be bought there. And this is going to be for our liquids. No doubt. Liquid fertilizer and herbicide. Are there signage in here? No. But I do kind of like this signage right here. So guys, it's going to wrap this map up. Trigger interactive area is clearly marked. I'm going to say yes. I do feel that they are clearly marked. Not that too big of a deal in really figuring out where everything goes. Mama Joe's Diner is the last point of interest that we're going to talk about. It's going to be available right there. So we're going to give this map a score of 5 out of 5. It hits on all marks that we go ahead and think about with respect to scoring. We can build production on this map. We can make 
productions on this map once we buy them. We can completely customize the farms. We can buy and sell lime and stones, as well as all of the basic in crops and productions. What could you ask more from a map than that? Buildings are using new texture techniques, so they look great. As far as ground textures, we do have some custom ground textures available on this map. I didn't show them off, but just note that there are a few extra ground textures that you can put down. No custom plants or trees. Those are all base game items. And then, of course, we do have various buildings that are going to be included in those required mods. Until next time, happy farming.